I get many questions from medical students and residents, future medical professionals about career choices. And it's so hard for me to, to provide a personalized answer to each because every career choice is different. But indeed, there are five questions I think every medical student and resident must be able to answer about artificial intelligence today. Let's go through them. Number one, do you know enough about AI? You have to be able to answer that question. You don't need to know the technical details of this technology, but you need to be aware of the definition, the levels, the methods, the dangers and the advantages of this breakthrough technology. But you're lucky because we at the Medical Futurist Institute published an open access paper, a short guide for medical professionals in the era of artificial intelligence. In that, we define all these five things, five major concepts. Plus, we also published a course about this introduction to artificial intelligence in medicine and healthcare. Number two, is learning to code your way? You have to answer that question. If you want to learn how to code because you think that's what you would need to understand AI for medical and healthcare purposes, that's not the case. Only developers of AI-based technologies need to learn how to code. But if you want to contribute to that process of inventing maybe AI-based medical technologies, or you are a member of teams that develop such technologies, then it makes sense to learn a way to code, because this way you could translate the clinical patient unmet needs that you can see as a medical professional quite clearly into the language of technologists working to solve those issues much more efficiently than without a way to code. But again, only if you want to contribute to developing such AI-based medical technologies, it makes sense to learn to code. Number three, do you have a common language with AI? Because the language of AI is not a coding language, not Python, for example. The language of AI is anticipation. Being able to build decision trees and anticipate, predict, foresee what kind of responses you will get for a question or if you make a move in chess, then what kind of move the other person, other person would play. Anticipate what might happen next and how you can use your decision tree as efficiently as possible. To learn the language of anticipation, you might want to play two-player board games, chess or Go, even StarCraft, but looking for a common way of anticipation so you understand the language of AI is of crucial importance because this way you can understand the progress of AI better. Number four, do you know the skills that differentiate you from your other peers? It's not even that much relevant to AI. It's about what kind of skills would make you an exceptional human being, especially when it comes to you being a medical professional. We published a paper about what skills we think would be crucial for future medical professionals. Digital health literacy, uh, knowledge about AI, uh, the ability to translate practical clinical issues into technological solutions, uh, teamwork, creativity, intuition. You need to know what skills make you an exceptional medical professional to be able to understand where to find your balance and your position, your role in this healthcare ecosystem, especially when more and more AI-based medical technologies come into the picture. Number five, do you know what impact AI would have on the medical specialty you choose right now? We published an analysis about the top 20 medical specialties, and I tried to find out what impact automation, artificial intelligence would have on each of those. And I used two scales. On one scale, I tried to see how interaction-based, discussion-based versus data-based our medical specialty is. And the other scale was about how many repetitive versus creative tasks that medical specialty entails. Based on that, you can see four groups. And if you find your med medical specialty in one group, then based on the description, you can find out what kind of major impact automation in general would have on that medical specialty. So then you can prepare in time how to adjust your skills or what areas, what skill sets to focus on to get the best out of yourself working in that medical specialty. And five plus one, a bonus question. Are you ready for the real era of the art of medicine? The art of medicine will not get vanished because of the implementation of artificial intelligence. I think it's the opposite. AI will bring the real era of the art of medicine. When an AI technology comes up with a cure, a treatment, repurposing a drug, 
we have, that we found as, a, as researchers and clinicians worldwide, then our job will be to find out how the AI could come to that conclusion. And you will need everything at your disposal. Knowledge in biology, pathology, technological details, experience, your human supervision, intuition, creativity, everything to understand how the AI could find a cure for a disease we couldn't find a cure for for hundreds of years. That's gonna be the real era of the art of medicine. I hope that being able to answer these five plus six questions actually help you in your careers. And as future medical professionals, you will be the ones that know how to use, how to implement this breakthrough technology into the practice of medicine for the benefit of patients and for the benefit of your own job to enjoy why you become a medical professional to be able to care for patients. I wish you good luck with that. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.